What's up, guys? So, Instant Family is the new Mark Wahlberg and Rose Byrne family comedy, which I would also call a dramedy because there was a lot more drama in this film than I maybe expected. I wasn't even sure what kind of movie I was getting into <laughs> before seeing it. I maybe saw a trailer for this movie once. I don't really remember seeing much marketing for this film, but I was definitely interested to see it, so I did. It's the story of Mark Wahlberg and Rose Byrne's character. They're a married couple, and they sort of decide to adopt. Uh, so, what basically happens is they decide to adopt this teenager. This teenager that they decide to adopt uh, is sort of coming with two younger siblings. So, Mark Wahlberg and Rose Byrne kind of get spiraled in to adopting all three, or at least fostering, all three of these uh, kids. And uh, Isabella Moner, I believe, is the, the, the teenager's name. She's 15 years old in the film. Uh, and, and the other two younger siblings as well. Uh, like I said, going into this, I had no idea what to expect. And leaving the theater, I was extremely surprised of how deep this movie is, how real it is, and just the overall feel and tone of the movie. Maybe four or five times watching this movie, I was getting the feels. And I was getting, like, the chills and, like, wow, this is, like, really emotionally impactful stuff going on in this movie. I mean, the acting is great, but I think the subject matter of just adoption and what it means to do that, what it means to fostering kids that don't have a home, and, and what kind of baggage that that comes with, I mean, it's, it's not necessarily going to be easy. And this movie covers all of that. And I think it covers it very well. This is a very emotionally real film. And I was not expecting that. It, like I said, it's more of a dramedy. Honestly, I feel like this should have been a light drama. Because for me, some of the comedy worked. Maybe 25% of the comedy worked. But 75% of it didn't. Didn't take me out of the movie, but it just didn't make me laugh. Uh, they were trying to be funny. When really... What they had going on with the actual story was so well realized. I feel like the comedy sort of took away from that just a bit. But like the first half hour of this movie, first 20 minutes to 30 minutes of this movie, I was sitting there like, wow, this could actually be one of my top 10 movies of the year. It is that strong. But then the movie still, I mean, it gets a little long, it sh for sure is a little long, and the humor starts to kind of overstep in a few places where I don't think it should, quite frankly, but overall, Instant Family is such a surprise. This and Blockers are my two favorite comedies of the year. I would probably maybe even say this is my favorite comedy of the year. Didn't think anything would top Blockers, but this just might do it. They're both maybe a tie for me, but, but this movie is great, and all the acting is great as well. I mean, Mark Wahlberg is great in this movie. Rose Byrne is great in this movie. They're giving very real performances, and I really like that. I mean, this is a great family movie. I hope more people are going to see it. I just looked at the box office numbers for this past weekend. It, it, it didn't... I don't think it did too hot, but it did fine at the same time. I don't know, 14 million, something like that, opening weekend. I hope more people go see this movie. It's a great movie, but there's a lot more coming out, so we'll have to see what happens with it. And I'm going to give Instant Family 4 out of 5 stars. Really, really was surprised by this movie. Really enjoyed it. And I definitely recommend you to see it. Guys, come your thoughts. If you do plan on seeing this movie, did you see it? What are your thoughts about it? You can leave that in the comment section. Also, guys, you can follow me on Patreon if you're interested in helping this channel grow. It would be much appreciated. I'll be able to do a lot more videos, Blu-ray unboxings, uh, maybe more gaming walkthroughs. Uh, I just started doing that, doing Kingdom Hearts 2 at the moment for PS4, probably going live tonight, so if you're interested, you can come join the live chat, or just follow me on Twitter to, to find out when I'm going to do that, or watch it on the repeat, whatever works. Uh, guys, you can also expect more reviews up on this channel within the next week. There's a ton of uh, things that are coming that I'm going to be seeing, including Boy Erased, Robin Hood, be seeing that a night early, I believe, maybe two nights early, I'm not sure. Uh, I think tomorrow night I'll be seeing that. Uh, also, Ralph Breaks the Internet, Wreck of Ralph 2, Creed 2, Green Book, and maybe uh, another one as well that I'm not entirely sure. We'll soon find out. 
But uh, yeah, so guys, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter. The links of those are in the description of this video. You can also follow me on Instagram at King Arises 131 And guys, that's been it. Thank you very much for watching my review for Instant Family. Over and out. I just got my first daddy. Oh, what? That? I suck. I want some of that. Hey, honey, can I help you with anything?